So. Just a comment. No wonder Buddha, um, when he arrived at enlightenment, he, he uh, refused to, to pass the Dharma to the world until Sahambati came down yeah. to Thailand and, and appealed him three times. Yeah. Because the Dharma is so depressed. No, it's not depressing, it's so I mean, difficult to understand. Yeah, we're not difficult to accept by the world. That by the I mean, world, the, the, moment, the moment you see reality, no? the moment you come out of this video game and see reality, I mean, you, you know that nobody in the world will understand that. The same thing happened to my venerable teacher. I mean, he's, he thought nobody will understand that. But then the second and third thought was, how did I get there? So, I mean, if there's a path to get there, then there's a way for the human beings to go, yeah? But, you know, trying to, un to make people understand the reality, you know, I mean, that is beyond anybody's, you know, comprehension. Yeah? But, and that's the same thing, you know, I, I assume it's the same thing for the Lord Buddha. Because then he recalled what was the path he took to get to this experience. And then he talked. Yeah. Of course, yes. I mean, there was the tool, yeah? It was Mara said, now you're finished, you can leave, yeah? yeah? And there was uh, Mara, some, uh, what is it, some? Sampati. Sampati, yeah? Who asked him you know, to teach, you know, out of matter, out of compassion, to teach. Yeah. <clears throat> You can talk a little bit more about Mara. Uh, is it a... Yeah, it's HT. <laughs> <laughs> Mara is the lord of the underworld, yeah? And his only interest is having as many beings, you know, in his, under his grip, yeah? Just like any, every, any kind of dictator, yeah? He's not afraid of the people who are under his grip, he's afraid of the people who are leaving his territory. So he will make it only difficult for the people who leave, who, who are really determined to leave his territory. I mean, before that he doesn't come and bother you. Because, you know, you're still very strong under his grip, yeah? A dictator never bothers about the people who don't want to leave, yeah? But they only worry about the people, you know, who are really determined you know, to leave their territory or their influence. Yeah, it probably is, you know, I mean, he, he's quite powerful. Of course, yeah. I mean, as I said, you know, I mean, he thinks, you know, he's the, he's the owner of all the beings in this world, yeah? And so he doesn't want anybody to leave, you know, including the Buddha, yeah? And when, once the Buddha, you know, could leave, you know, his territory, you know, he, he, he tried to convince him, now, now that you found your way out, you know, I mean, just leave, <laughs> just die. And the Lord Buddha said, it's not your time, yeah? yeah Of course, of course, you know, I mean... No, I, it doesn't necessarily mean to be evil intention. I mean, look at the people, you know, who just want to have the power over other people, yeah? Start, start in the family. <laughs> who wants to have the power? One, one of you, you know, either the husband or the wife, you know, wants to have the power over the children or over the money, yeah? That's not, that's not really considered evil, yeah? I mean, he can do evil things, yeah? I mean, yes, every being can do evil things. But I don't know him personally, so I mean... <laughs> I really don't know, yeah? But he's a great deceiver, yeah? He deceives people. 
And you don't have to worry about it, you know, worry about your own kilesas, yeah? What? Like what? I don't know. I mean, he deceives people. So, I mean, he's deceitful. But if you require that you ask him, are you Mara? He will say yes. I don't know. I mean, have you met him? He has not approached you, Ajahn. No. And if I wouldn't answer. <laughs> <clears throat> so, for the five precepts, the last one, uh, drinking alcohol, you stream from even a, a single drop or so, mm -hmm. not supposed to, for many yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why do you want to drink? To forget Dukkha? No, not, not to simply find excuse or reason to, to justify for the just that I want to understand um, yeah. what we described from the Sutta. I mean, if there is some, some medicine that is saluted in alcohol, you know, then there is no problem, yeah? I mean, it's drinking alcohol, you know, for the intention, yeah, to... For to pleasure. To, and then even one drop is too, too much. Cooking. Cooking. Yeah? Cooking. For the cooking. Wine. For the cooking. I, no, no. <laughs> Not for, the, not for the renunciation, right, but for lay people. Yeah, for lay people, even, you know, for cooking now. No whiskey, no wine. For medicine. For medicinal purpose. What? It evaporates, yeah. Yes, it's cooked. You see that part? Why, why, why do you like it? You know, I mean, just take, you know, vinegar or things like that, yeah? <laughs> or lemon, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, just as good, yeah? I mean, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, I don't say, you know, I mean, if you. If you, yeah? if you have not taken alcohol for, for a long time, yeah? And you. You eat a soup, you know, that is made with sherry, you know, for instance, you will get this. Is, is alcohol really No, drugs, cocaine, heroin, yaba, I, I mean all these. What? Oh yeah, sure. I mean heroin you had. Yeah, certainly. Heroin is there, you know, as long as human beings are there. What? Smoking? I mean, he allowed it. Yeah. I mean, there was talk by Kau, you know, he said, he said, you know, to the monks, I allow you your pipe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was talk by Kau. <clears throat> or grass or whatever it was, you know, I don't know what it was. At the time of the day. I mean, smoking doesn't make you unmindful. Huh? It depends, it depends what you smoke. What? It depends, it depends what, you what you smoke, yeah. I mean, if you smoke marijuana, but then you're unlikely, you know, to do any evil. You just lie back, you know, and you, you dream around. Yeah. But if you drink alcohol, you, do say, you say things, you know, you, you do things that you regret later, yeah. And that's why alcohol, especially alcohol, but also heroin, yeah. <clears throat> heroin and cocaine, do all sorts of things that you don't remember afterwards. I don't remember. You don't? I don't know. You should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite lucky. <laughs> so it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. I tried, but it get all the energy. <laughs> so just that they apply in cooking sometimes. Cooking? Some money in cooking, like uh, chicken. Yeah, I mean, yeah. A monk should, yeah, it's monk not should allowed, eat. it's not allowed to eat that. Yeah, okay. I mean, they even have it, you know, in chocolate, there's some alcohol in it. Chocolate, yes. Yeah. 
I mean, my mother sent me and I wasn't unaware of it and I ate one and I thought, something strange, you know, why is my head so busy? <laughs> Just one! Huh? Yes, but the alcohol is not cooked and yeah. it's different, it's pure. No, but even if it's cooked, you know, I mean, even if, if it evaporates, you know, I mean, you still feel it. And some people like to put a lot, you know. <laughs> So, it doesn't matter, so I mean, just keep it, don't, don't there's no need for alcohol, yeah? Hmm? Well, when, when you make pancakes, if you put some beer in it, it's it, much more lighter. <laughs> if you do that, you're not allowed in the monastery anymore. <laughs> no. I don't like pancakes anyway, so I mean... <laughs> And there's some nice honey, you know, I mean, what is, you know, I mean, food, 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 yeah, I mean French, yeah? <clears throat> French love cooking. It's the same oh, as... No, no, as Thai. Yeah. Thai is much worse. <laughs> yeah, well, Thai is more sophisticated. Yeah. Thai is crazy with food. Yeah. Yeah, but the French are crazy with food, you know? Pate, 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 my pate. <laughs> I never said I'm a saint, yeah? <laughs> well, I, I was treat, But I didn't like it until the age of 18, I never drank alcohol. I didn't like it. I drank it once and it made me so, so feeling so bad. Yeah? Even in the military, I never drank alcohol. But when I was a student, then I started. <laughs> That's strange. And then I stopped, yeah? Because I see just, you know, just a class, you know? Half a class, you know, I tried it out, yeah? Half a class of beer or wine, yeah? And then you start to meditate, and you cannot even concentrate. There's no way, you know, as, as good as you meditated before. You drink a little bit of alcohol, and your concentration is absolutely gone. I mean, one point, you won't find it. And that's, that's why, you know, the Lord Buddha said no. Put away with it. And I realized that any can get angry really easy. That, that is for people, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like these Chinese people, yeah. <laughs> yes, in the food. <laughs> with alcohol, we, uh, it's strange when we, uh, we become sensitive, we, we feel a very strange uh, transpiration in the body. As soon as you you always have to say, yeah. I feel it, you know, because maybe not other people feel it. No, sometimes when we are sensitive, we feel mm -hmm. a very uh, strange kind of transpiration in the body. Mm -hmm. It's very strange. Yeah, I mean, that, that differs from person to person, yeah. Each person has a different, you know, different experience, yeah. <clears throat> but the common thing is you can't concentrate. And that's where, where, where the danger is, you know, I mean, we want to concentrate. Yeah. <coughs> so, but uh, other questions, you know, I mean, these are food, 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 alcohol. <laughs> that's what people are concerned of, yeah? Eating, eating. Yeah, when you're full, you don't want to eat anything, yeah? He said, it's the unconditioned, yeah? What is it? Do you know what is the conditioned? If then else, yeah? The unconditioned is where there is no more condition, yeah? Where you're free to choose every time you know what is best, yeah? The conditioned is, you know, you see, if, if this condition is met, then you do this and this is fixed. Yeah? If I see my, yeah, if I see my enemy, I punch him in the face, yeah? That's conditioning, yeah? Unconditioned, if I see my enemy, I hug him. <laughs> I can hug him. 
Yes. Yeah. As long as they have a body, of course they have consciousness, they have a mind, yeah? But if they go to Paranibbana, I mean they neither exist nor do they not exist. I mean that's why the Lord Buddha thought, when he's, yeah? Nobody will understand it, so I mean, he's not teaching it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Explain it to him, translate it to him in Chinese. Neither do I exist nor do I not exist. Explain it to him in Chinese, yeah? Or Malay. Who is speaking Chinese? I don't, you're Chinese, or? Huh? Yeah. He said it was. So translate it to him in Chinese so that he might understand it. There's nothing you can really say about it. I mean, it is, we live in the black and white. The moment we use words, yeah, there's always the opposite of these words. Yeah? And, and the unconditioned is beyond, you know, beyond words, yeah? I mean, what kind of words can you use to describe it? That's why he said, you know, I mean, it's the unconditioned, it's the extinguished, where the fire of greed, hate and delusion is extinguished. That. He didn't want, you know, he gave the word Nibbana, yeah? And that's all what we can say. Go there and see for yourself. Yeah? And all what you need to do is actually go into Apana Samadhi, where the mind gets one point and then you see it. Yeah, go. This. <laughs> and then you don't need to ask. There's water in the beginning. What? There's water. How you destroy water, so... How the taste of the water until you drink it. Uh, the past, I how the taste of drinking. drink it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because it's uh, mm. feed, feeding the desire for the intellectual mm. mind. Yeah. And that is avicca. <laughs> avicca is always interested, wants to know, wants to know, wants to understand, you know, but it's not even being able to understand because it, avicca only works in the realm of duality. So it cannot just understand something that is beyond its realm. Yeah? And you as a scientist should understand that. No? It's not my fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you should check out a Vita, no? But you know, I mean, no. honestly, go, go into Apana Samadhi and then you will have a preview of Nibbana. And then you don't need to ask. Yeah. Yeah, but it's difficult. But it's amazing, yeah. I mean, then you won't even, even ask, you know, what is it at the bar, yeah? It's just like you see a preview. It's a, just a preview. When you come out, everything is the same. Yeah? But you will have a deep, deeper understanding. Yeah. Pretty much. In the fourth, in the fourth, in the fourth jhana, you still have this fine sensation, the bodily fine sensation. In apana samadhi, there's nothing. But the deepness of it, you know, the the, the depth of both are pretty much the same. And samadhi is easy to reach. The jhanas are very difficult. But all people, you know, want to reach a China, China, China. Everybody's talking about China. <laughs> Define China. Yeah. I mean, yes, because it's mentioned a lot in the suttas, you know, but at the time of the Lord Buddha, you know, people practiced China. Yeah? I mean, they didn't have the, the, the smartphones, you know, to play around with it. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, they had, you know, pretty much of their whole day, you know, time, you know, for practicing meditation. Yeah? They had no TVs, they had no entertainment, Xbox and entertainment stations, you know, no internet, you know, I mean, all what they had, you know, I, I mean, they had food, you know, a place to sleep, yeah, and so they practiced, yeah. So a lot of them, you know, were able to reach the channels because, I mean, you really, really need single pointedness, yeah. <clears throat> but nowadays, I mean, you look at your own mind, it is so distracted, I mean, how can you reach the channels, yeah? 
Forget about it, but you can reach Apana Samadhi or, or Upachara Samadhi. Yeah? People can do it, yeah. I mean, if you put your mind, you know, to whatever you put your mind on it, you know, you can do it. Yeah? Wherever there is, you know, entire days, Wherever there is effort and diligence, there is, you know, there is the way. We, we can make it. Wherever there is a will, there is a way. But we are not willing enough, eh? Huh? HT. I'm a different shit. Somebody between somebody and Jana. Like Jana, we don't have Jana first, but somebody. Yeah. Do you know the Chinas? Leave it at that. Yeah. Just practice samadhi. How do you know that you taste water? <laughs> when you are you are full, you know you are full. The battery charge full. When you take, you know, you can you taste the difference between water and uh, apple juice? How do you know that, you know, I mean, something is nicer and sweeter and the other thing is not so nice and sweet. You don't know that? You don't need to know the names for it. No, I mean, that could be your own ego thinking things that... Yeah, I mean, that is, that is why most of the people, you know, <clears throat> think they are in the channels and they even haven't reached, you know, the, the stage of Upachara Samadhi. I mean... Lots of people think they are Nibbana, think they are Arahants. <laughs> I mean, Thailand is full of people who think they are Arahants. In the West it's full of people who think they are Arahants, yeah? We can think whatever we want. That is the beauty of it, yeah? But it's not reality, yeah? If you taste shit, you know you taste shit. <laughs> if you taste water, then you know you taste water. Yeah. I mean, it all comes, you know. I mean, it all comes down to experience. Yeah. If you put a label on it or not, you know. I mean, the experience will be yours. Yeah. Just like I said, if you grab in the fire, I mean, you don't need labels for it. You know that it's hot and burning. You know what it is. Why do you need a label for it? If you want to communicate to somebody else, yeah. And then just tell him, you know, I put my hand in the fire, and if that person puts his hand in the fire, then you know what you're talking about. If you never put it, you know, I mean, no matter what you explain to him, you know, I mean, you will not understand it. Huh? It's the same thing, you know, always trying to figure it out with the mind, yeah. That's nothing else than a reach yeah? Trying to figure it out, figure it out, you know, and once we think we understand it, you know, then we, that, then we don't need to practice anymore, huh? That's yeah, a foolish person. We need to practice in order to experience the thing, yeah? We have to know that the body is not ours, not only think, yeah, of course, yeah? I mean, if you are old, you know, we don't like this body anymore, yeah? But that doesn't mean that we don't get a new body. Because our desire is for the, for the age of 20 to 30, yeah? That's what we want. We don't want the first 10 years, we don't want the last 20 years or 30 years. We just want the middle part. <laughs> yeah? Don't think about it, do it. Yeah? Practice is all about, yeah, I mean, practicing is all about yeah, trying to concentrate the mind. I mean, I, I laid it out, yeah, in these last few days. So follow it, you know, and you will know it, yeah? And if you don't understand it, you come and see me, yeah? Just trying to figure it out. I mean, we are so great, you know, I mean, we are all trained, yeah? Figuring out this, figuring out that, yeah? But that's not the truth, yeah? Anybody knows, you know, I mean, how it, how it feels like when you put your hand in the fire, yeah? Don't you know? 
never put their hand in the fire? Not on the hot stove? I, I, I'm sure that you put it there. <laughs> or try to cut your finger with a scissor? Yeah? Or with a knife? You don't know how it feels like? Or jump into cold water? I mean, just go, just go to the beach, you know, and look at all these Westerners, stupid fools, yeah? I mean, they heat themselves up in, on the beach, you know, until they can't stand anymore the heat, and they jump into the cold water until they start, can't stand the cold, yeah? And then they go back to the beach, heat themselves up in the, in the hot sun, yeah? I mean, so stupid, yeah? And then they tell you that it was the biggest fun of their life. <laughs> I mean, all what you need is a cold bucket of water and hot, yeah, hot coals, you know, and then you put from one, you know, to the other. Yeah? I, I couldn't understand the first phrase of it. What is it? It's a noodle. Noodle. Such a way uh, in hot water and then quickly dump it in the water, oh, yeah. make it crunchy. Oh, okay. Like the Japanese so that that is the Westerners going to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they should just go into the microwave. <laughs> but then they, then they are cooked inside as well. They don't like that. <laughs> they only just like to be cooked outside. To be crispy and brown. <laughs> but that's how, how stupid people are. And they call it fun, you know. Natan himself was so stupid, you know, doing the same thing, yeah. Until he realized it, huh? <clears throat> oh, that's the least, yeah. I mean, we die because of our karma, yeah. I mean, he still believes, you know, I mean, that we get sick because of we do this or do that. You get cancer because of, you know, because of your karma of previous lives. And you don't get cancer if you, if you don't have that karma. Hmm? You die early, you know, if you have that karma, and you die late if you have that karma. The Lord Buddha laid it all out. But we still, you know, I mean, we still are so stupid to believe the science, you know, of medicine that changes their opinion every, every two years. Huh? Huh? Every two years they change your opinion. Oh, sorry, we for, forgot this, you know, and then, then we, you know, I mean, but now we know, you know, it is 100%, yeah? And two years later, sorry, you know, we forgot to incorporate this, you know, I mean, it's not true, yeah? What, what did they talk for 20 years, you know, about, you know, uh, uh, animal fat, you know, I mean, it is, yeah, I mean, it's so bad for you, and now they, they skipped it. Yeah, Forget it completely. But you know, people, you know, oh, oh, I, I have to eat all these pills, you know, to get rid of. Yeah. 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 I mean, and, and we still believe it. The next time they come up, yeah, 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 I mean, this kills you. I know one thing that kills you 100%. Birth. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not born, you're not killed. <laughs> if you're not born, you don't die. 100%, true. Yeah? Everything else is speculation, yeah? The whole medical science is speculation, yeah? The Malay are even more stupid than the Thais, you know? I mean, I, I need to take this medicine, I need to take this medicine, this helps this, this helps this. Yeah? The one that helps is Dhamma, I yeah? have a clear mind, yeah? You understand? Running constantly to the doctor. Yeah. I mean, if there's a doctor who can get rid of my body, you know, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Even Achan would go there. Yeah? 
Get me rid of my body, you know, let me out of the prison, you know. <clears throat> you understand? Don't take that so, yeah, I mean, yeah. Of course, you know, there are doctors, you know, with certain ailments that can help, yeah. If they can't help, you know, forget it, it's coming. But don't trust them too much what they say. You shouldn't eat this, you shouldn't eat that, you know, that's not good for you, that's not good for you, yeah? How do they know, yeah? Because 51% of the people, you know, die because of this and 49% of the people don't die, you know, they say, because 51% die, you know, it's bad for you, yeah? For the other 49% it's still good, yeah? And in English, or in, in yeah, English there's a saying, one man's poison, is the other man's medicine. See? Huh? Have you ever heard that? So why don't we believe that anymore? Because it's an old wise saying. Huh? I mean, people used it all over the centuries, but now, I mean, medicine comes in and tells, no, huh? not anymore. It says, you know, this is for good for everyone. How can it be? You don't listen to your own... Chinese has so many wise sayings, yeah? Huh? You don't listen to your own wisdom of your, your own culture anymore, huh? You listen only to the bad things, you know, that comes from the West, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> they have big kilesas. Advertisement calls the nice, just kilesas, they have big kilesas, yeah? And you're so stupid to read them. <laughs> if you don't read them, you don't know them. Hmm? If you don't know them, you're happy. Yeah? But I, I read it, but lucky I'm healthy, I don't use it. <laughs> Maybe in, in two years you're not so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Somehow about uh, those who are having bad karma, then they have a sickness. And then they believe that doing some kind of action can help to reduce the karma. Is that possible? I mean, you cannot reduce the karma. You can, I mean, you can change the attitude towards this karma. Yeah. And through actions, you can change the attitude towards this karma. And then it makes it easier. Yeah. From the if somebody, if your neighbor constantly hits you whenever you come out of the door, yeah. And, and you, you go against it, you know, fighting, but he's stronger than you, no? I mean, that is a lot of dukkha. But when, when you accept it, you know, put a helmet on your head, you know, <laughs> and he still hits you, you know, I mean, it's, you know, okay. Like, what Buddha explained in the pinch of salt, if you want to make a pinch of salt, you have to pinch it with a cup of water. But that is, that is for all the karma that we acquired, you know. I mean, if you did a lot of bad karma, you know, in, in the previous ten years, yeah, and then decide, okay, now let's only do good karma, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a plunge of salt, you know, in a lot of water, yeah. But, you know, if you only do once in a while some good karma, you know, I mean, the water, the water will be very salty, you know, and very difficult to drink. But when the karma is coming, I was talking about when the karma is coming back, yeah? I mean, not refusing the karma, but accepting it, you know, okay, whatever I've done, you know, I, yeah, I have to accept it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So there's the karma, you know, people get cancer, there's the karma for some people, you know, that you get cured. They can be completely cured of their cancer. They have cancer for five or ten years, yeah? And the doctor says, you know, I mean, you will die, in, I mean, the last stage dies in six months. This person takes a holiday, you know, and after one year he comes back to the doctor and they said, the, the, the cancer is gone. Sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> because they changed their life, you know, they accepted it, you know, say, so, okay, if I, if I have to die anyway, then I, at least I don't have to work, you know, I don't have to stress out, yeah, <clears throat> anymore, yeah. And then he enjoys himself, you know, and then the cancer is gone. So, I mean, there can be cures, you know. I mean, there, there are some cures for cancers, you know, that, that help some people. Yeah? But only, only if you have that karma to be helped, yeah? Yes. Huh? 
other people run from doctor to doctor, you know, and they still die. Eh? They try out all the medicines because they have all the money, you know. Try out all the medicines, run from one country to the next, you know, looking for the best doctor and nothing can happen. Eh? Other people just go, you know, to one doctor and he gives them, I try out this, you know, it helps. It's all because of our karma. Karma is very strong. It directs, it, 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 you know, it, it shapes our life. Yeah? <clears throat> and it all comes from previous lives. Yeah? I mean, 99% of it comes from previous lives. Some of it comes from the beginning of our life. No, it's not random. No. How can it be random? Random means uh, it, it may not come in this life. Oh, yeah. But that is, I mean, no, there's a logic to come up. Yeah? I mean, think about it. Yeah? In this life, you decide yeah, to go into the city. In the city, certain dangers are lurking. So this, kind of, this is the kind of karma that you have. But then after 20 years living in the city, you decide, you know, to go on the countryside. On the countryside, other kinds of dangers lurk. So, you see, in the city, this kind of karma happened. If you live on the countryside, other kinds of karma happen. If you go and, and, and choose to go to the forest, you know, live in the forest or in the mountains, other kind of karma will happen. It's not random. Yeah. It depends on what way you choose. So quite a few people who choose the spiritual life will face certain types of karma they wouldn't, you know, wouldn't have, you know, if they use the normal life. And so they think, you know, okay, because of my spiritual life I have to face up this karma, it's not good to be the spiritual life. No, whenever, you know, no matter when they choose it, in this life or in the next life, when they choose the spiritual life, this karma will come. Yeah? So karma is not random, it is dependent on the situation we are in, yeah? or it depends on the choices that we make. Yeah? They mean to say, if I live in the city, yeah. as an ordinary person, I won't be eaten so easily by a tiger. No, but you, will, you might get killed by a person. Yeah, <laughs> and if I, I choose to be a man, and to be more spiritual, I end up become a horse man. I yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, if if you if you have a short life, I mean, no matter what, you know, I mean, things will happen. You will have a short life. I mean, there are monks, you know. I mean, some of the monks just lived up to fifty. Yeah. Other monks lived, you know, my upacha lived up to one hundred and five. Yeah. So I mean, that depends on. I mean, the Lord Buddha said, "Who is it?" taker of lives will have a short life, who is, you know, who doesn't take lives will have a long life. That's a karma that happens, yeah? <clears throat> but you might not be on the spiritual path and be eaten by a tiger, but that is very unlikely. But you might, you know, you might fall off, you know, you might fall off a cliff, you know, and die. if you have a short life, yeah? The short life cannot be remedied. Yeah? I have some belief that two animal liberation can happen in the lifespan. What? Uh, animal liberation can then could lengthen their lifespan. Is this a teaching of the Buddha? Any? What? And, and, and to release animal, liberate animal. Liberating animals. Free the birds. Free the, birds. Free the, birds. Free, free the fish. Free yeah. the sea. And people want to believe so many things. <laughs> it's certainly not the teaching of the Lord Buddha. <laughs> First of all, you don't catch them. <laughs> then you don't need to free them. <laughs> no, I mean it will have it will have lots of good karma, you yeah, know, to free birds, yeah. Or to free animals, yeah. I mean, if you see, you know, if there's a, you know, if there's a truck going with pigs, you know, to the slaughterhouse, and you just buy the old pigs, you know, and let them free, yeah. That's very good karma, yeah. But it comes back the next life, yeah. Or 
one of the lives. But it doesn't will, it will not lengthen your life, this life. Because this life is determined the moment you are born. Everything, yeah? I mean, science, you know, believes, you know, in the genes, yeah? I mean, all your karma is written in the, whatever they call it, genes. And they might not be the same as your parents' genes. They might be similar. Huh? So, I mean, the clock, the moment you're born, the clock tick, 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 until it last tick, boom, die. And there's nothing you can do. Huh? You can you can drink as ma much almond milk, you know, as you want. <laughs> you still die. At the same time. Yeah. yeah. Even an Aran. If an Aran is asked, you know, like like my 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 venerable teacher, if he is asked three times, you know, to extend his life, he might be able to do that. So my my venerable teacher Linda Mahapo was was extending his life for 14 years. He should have died, you know. Uh, Just, just after I came, two or three years after I came, but he lived more, for 12 or 14 more years. Just, just like the Lord Buddha said to Ananda, why didn't you ask me, yeah? I could have lived another 20 years, yeah? I mean, there, some of them, not everyone, have the ability to extend their life. Extend their life? What is that? Was it bit in life or? That has nothing then to do with karma. Yeah, extended. That, yeah, okay. Maybe it can be extended and then stay in the hospital. No. <laughs> It's healthy life. Okay. I mean, there's no purpose. I mean, there's no purpose, you know, in staying in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, an arahant never chooses on his own. I mean, who wants to stay in this broken down body? <laughs> And who wants, you know, I mean, to receive, you know, all the time, so, yeah? Foolish, foolish people, you know, ask stupid questions. <laughs> yeah? Or squeeze, squeeze, constantly squeeze the lemon, yeah, out of them. Yeah? Who wants to extend his life? I mean, somebody, you know, who is on the spiritual path, you know, and, and he's far up, you know, I mean, he doesn't want to stay around. So, but he does it out of compassion, out of matter for the people. And he does it only if he can teach the people. Yeah? So, I mean, if he's in a coma, he wouldn't stay around. Yeah? But I, I don't understand that. Uncle Chuck, Chuck, yes. we do for 10 years, 15 years, and then we are dead. He was, I mean, he was so angry that they didn't let him die. Westerners. The Westerners kept up his body. Yeah? And he was sometimes coming out, yeah? Yeah. They didn't let him die, yeah? Until Lundam Baba went to school. Yeah, until, until the disciples, not the, not the Western disciples, until the Thai disciples came and see Lundam Baba, can we take him off the machine? And then he said, of course you can take him off the machine, he only suffers there. And then they took him off the machine. Yeah. Westerners have so strong. That is not told in the West. <laughs> What? That is not told in the West. Of course it's not told in the West. Yeah. Who wants to admit to the stupidity or foolishness? <laughs> no, Westerners have very strange ideas. Yeah. I mean, even, I mean, if they would have contemplated the body, you know, they would have understood. And before he went, you know, I mean, Achan Chah told them directly, I don't want to go to the hospital. I want to die in my kuti. I don't want to go to the hospital. Yeah? What did the Westerners, they listened to the Achan, they instantly, you know, took him to the hospital. And they put him on these life machines, yeah? And they thought, you know, I mean, they will help him then. 
They were happy in themselves, never thought about the actual. Eh? <clears throat> so, what Tanajan don't say, uh, uh, he asked not to, to do that, but he said, but I don't know if my followers will obey. <laughs> yeah. yes. uh, I mean, he knew it already. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, I, of course, it is also part of that. Like, like my part of karma, you know, is, is to have only foolish people around me. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have one smart person, one clever person, yeah. <laughs> but it's not my karma. <laughs> I have to, to put up. <laughs> huh? I'm not complaining. It's just the fact that I stay. People ask me always the same question you know? answering the machines. <laughs> So, any other questions, huh? No? You all happy with your life? <laughs> no? You're not happy? Then get out. Get out, yeah? And the Lord Buddha showed us the path. Eh? If you don't want to stay, you know, in this dukkha, this mess, eh? then get out. It's tough, but it can be done. Well, there is a will, there is a way. Yeah? But if the will is always swinging forth, and forth oh, okay, okay, I, today I do meditate. Oh, it's okay for me. Maybe I do it tomorrow. <laughs> That's not the way out. <laughs> the way out is just going straight, you know, whatever comes there. Yeah? If there's snow, then you go through snow. If there's water, you go through water. If there's fire, you go through fire. Yeah? You just walk, 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 walk. Yeah? That's the way out. Okay, so, then finishing up, if there are no more questions, yeah? Oh, I look so tired, depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can get depressed when we, we hear something that we don't like to hear, yeah? yeah? And today there were certainly things that we didn't like to hear, yeah? Okay, well, <clears throat> don't finish up. <clears throat>